We all have that one show, that one piece of media, that one book series that we have been following since the very first book got published and we've been waiting for the story to conclude. And for me, it finally concluded. Now before you get your twitties in a test, no, I'm not going to be leaving YouTube. I'm not quitting. I'm not retiring. Uh, I, I couldn't retire if I wanted to because I don't make any money off of YouTube. As a matter of fact, I spent more money on merch than I have made back from it. And having the second channel to upload to significantly more often has been so creatively fulfilling. So thank you to everyone who jumped over there and subscribed and is watching me currently go through every single episode of Black Butler Season 4. If you want to get caught up, I've got the first three episodes out, and next Sunday is going to be episode 4. Well, the, that's when I'm going to watch it. The, the episode's going to come out on the Monday following that. So, what am I talking about? Well, first, allow me to take a real quick sip. Mmm. This sure is good. I'm not a sellout if I'm selling out to myself. Now, there are very few shows that I hold in incredible esteem, and those are the S tiers. If you ever watched me do the tier list videos, there are very few S's. There are a lot of A's, there are a whole lot of B's. There are very few that I would say are absolutely amazing. And the show that I want to talk to you about that I finished watching is an absolute S tier. And I don't remember if I gave it an S tier when I was ranking it. It kept begging to be an S tier. But every once in a while, especially the very beginning of season four, the final season, it was just an absolute travesty that made me just possibly never want to finish the show. But I can tell you that season four, part three, Part 2, Electric Boogaloo, was absolutely amazing. Now for those of you who haven't caught on, I am of course talking about Attack on Titan. The Attack Titan. The Attacking Titan. Attack Schmack Malak. Now this video is not going to be a in-depth review of the show. If you'd like to see that, leave a comment. I'm saving this channel for some really high quality stuff, as well as a few personable things, kind of like this, and you know, stuff that I want to keep you updated to. Attack on Titan and... Doom, the video game series, are two shows that just shocked me because I don't like horror and I don't like FPS games and I don't like the merging of the two. So, but for some reason, I loved Doom. I don't like overly gory things despite being a fan of, well, I wouldn't say a fan, but ha having listened to, there you go, let, let, let me just, let me just play you a, a quick snippet. My YouTube has been loading slowly. Has yours been loading slowly? Mine has. Despite not being a fan of gore uh, in video games over like, excessive gore and, and FPS games in general, I love Doom and I don't know why and it, it, it just spoke to me and I Attack on Titan it was exactly the same thing for shows. I don't like horror movies, horror shows. Um, some thriller I can get behind. You could say like Black Butler is like a horror uh, supernatural thriller. But Attack on Titan was one of those things where I watched the first episode and I didn't like it. But then a friend of yours, the most wholesome person I have ever met, the wholesome Chungus, if by some weird coincidence Mr. Ryan Barber happens to be watching this this is your fault for making this one of my favorite shows of all time just the most wholesome guy you'll ever meet and he was like have you watched Attack on Titan I was like you watched Attack on Titan he's like yes it's amazing and so I watched it and I got to episode three and I was absolutely hooked and I've I watched it and I waited for every new episode to come out as soon as, like, season one was all done with, but as season two came out, I am an unapologetic fan 
of season two and three. Some people don't like them because they're boring and nothing happens. I don't care. I loved them. They were amazing. And uh, I, I watched every every episode as it came out. Like, I would stay up until midnight to wait for the release, and then I would watch it, and I would go to bed, and I'd just be so happy. But then I'd have to get up for work in the morning, and I would be very tired, but it would be totally worth it. Now, some of you may be wondering, but Schmopix, why are you talking about the final part of the final part of the final season when it came out months ago? Well, the thing about that is sometimes, as you would know if you watched the Tearless series, smash like if you saw the Tearless series, and smash like if you didn't. When it came to the tier list series, uh, we talked about how, you know, the whole reason why I have my two cousins on there is because we watched a lot of shows together. And I told one of them that they needed to watch Attack on Titan. So then we made it our thing to watch it together. And it was during COVID when we just hung out all the time because we didn't end up going to work. One of the shows was Attack on Titan. And admittedly, I'm sorry, you have to hear this through a video, uh, Timothy. But, um, I watched everything, except for this last movie. I watched all of it beforehand, and then I just watched it a second time with you. <laughs> uh, but the, um, this, but the last part, I was like, look, we gotta finish the show together, and it, it, timing just didn't ever line up. But we finally watched it this past weekend. And man, was it emotional. Not to have any spoilers, even though it's been out for a while. There weren't really any plot twists that I didn't see coming. My my thought about Aaron's, you know, what his plan was, that was my thought since, you know, season, since the Aaron confronted uh, Armin and Mikasa and had a, had a brawl. That was my, like, the plan there, I was pretty sure is what was gonna happen. The weird twist is that they went in on the Aaron Mikasa love triangle, it's not a love triangle, but the, 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 the canonicity of shipping the two of them. I thought they were never gonna be like that. I didn't think that's what the, the characters were gonna do, but honestly, I'm, I'm okay with it. It really encapsulated Aaron almost the best way possible is that he's been putting up this front to be the guy who will destroy the Titans, and he does at the very end. He's self-sacrificial to an absolute fault, and yet you get to see very human moments with him. Oh, it was just so, it was so sad to see, and it, but it was so good though. It was so amazing. It messed me up for the next probably two days. I just thought about it. Uh, it, it messed me up almost as much as it messes me up every time I think about the burning of the Library of Alexandria. And that, I can't believe that was only 1,633 years ago that that happened. Now I'm all steamed up. But Attack on Titan is just, I, I, I'm not the kind of person who's really good at, at yapping and gushing over things that they really like for a long amount of time. I'm, I'm very simplistic. Like, I tell you, it was amazing, enough said. Like, it's, I, I just don't have words to express just how this show made me invested in it, despite that not being my typical area that I like to watch. It's not my f typical genre. And I got to watch it you know, start to finish as it was releasing. You know, I know plenty of you. Let me know in the comments below if there are any shows that are like that for you. I know I've got other family whose only real reason why they're watching My Hero Academia anymore is because they started watching it from episode one when it came out. I would say the only criticism I have of part four, part two, is it tries to tie everything up in an in a nice bow. All the bad guys are basically, uh, of the entire show, the, 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 the main bad guys are, are redeemed and it makes sense. It's a bit rushed and very, a bit plot 
convenient. Everything is a bit like, oh, by the way, the cart titan is like, oh, because of its endurance, she can turn into the titan whenever she wants, as long as she's not killed. Uh, as opposed to everyone else who gets tired afterwards, which has already been established. But it, it felt like there were a bunch of plot conveniences just to get this to end and make sense while also being very diff as difficult as fighting titans has been the entire time. So I think that it was about as good as you could do for a movie. They're just minor nitpicks. And at the very end was so, <sighs> it was so emotional. Like not in like a, oh, this is so sad. I mean, it was Mikasa doing that thing with the, you know, when Aaron, I'm trying not to give spoilers, like that was so emotional. And it, and it wasn't weird really either. Like for the, for, like if it was any other show, it would absolutely be like that ruined the moment, even if you were meaning well. But for this show, it was, it made sense. Minor spoilers. I just, I just have to get into spoilers. I have to get into spoilers. So if you don't like this, uh, plug your ears for, for a hot minute. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you when to, when to unplug. So when Aaron is buried by the tree, and they have the headstone, and then Mikasa, I assume Mikasa comes to visit and then has a family and is still visiting Aaron's grave. It's so, it's very touching. But then time moves on, cars are invented, buildings, you know, skyscrapers are made, and terrorism. It's all about how we won the war, but there's always more to come. You know, you'll never, defeat the evil within your heart. It went through this whole time lapse of like the decay of humanity through nuclear fallout and then the everyone coming back and then it ends so many thousands of years later. I think it was like 5,000 years later and the tree is still there and the tombstone is dug is way beneath the roots and it was such a weird thing. It was like this wonderful thing that you you've been watching in this time period, it's now so far in the past. It was, it was like ripping the band-aid off. Like, it's not like, here's the show and you ease out of it. Maybe put a little bit of water on the band-aid, you rub it and then it doesn't hurt so much when you, when you, you peel it off. No, this was like just a, and Aaron's dead. Then it's just like a time lapse. Like everybody that you grew up with is now very, very, very dead. And nothing mattered at all. I mean, it did matter because Titans are gone, but it didn't matter in that time moves on, people forget things, the tree is still there and got to be, watch all of this happen, which is a very wonderful metaphor that you can turn a million metaphors into. But it was like, and, oh, look at that. I found another Band-Aid. It's massive and goes up your entire arm. Let's just, it's just, it's like Steve Carell getting all of his hair waxed off of him in The 40-Year-Old Virgin. It... It just, it was like, that's it. That's, that's the end. We're, we're, there's so much, there's, there's not like seven deadly sins. Our kids are taking over now. It's, it's, it's gone. There's nothing left. Like, like the time that you spent in this era is gone, very gone forever. And it was just so, just, I'm, I'm left at the end, just, just jaw dropped and I, don't know how to emotionally recover. I think about it, but it is such an amazing show. It is, it, oh, it just means so much. I could get, I'm starting to get a little, a little choked up. I'm, I'm not going to cry though, because I'm a man and I have had thousands of years of genealogy to repress emotions. All right, I'm good. So, Attack on Titan. I to finish it all out. What's the rating I give it? It is very rewatchable, which is hard for me to say about many shows. But it is an absolute S tier. Unfortunately, this uh, tier list reset, so I need to go find my reference to what it was before this. The first one in A tier. The one that is just barely not an S tier is Attack on Titan. I absolutely agree. It is. I, I, honestly, I wouldn't know how it ends. Um, my buddy, uh, Evan Prince, who, uh, has changed his channel a few times. I can't quite remember. I think it's, uh, we'll bring it up right now. It is this.
<laughs> Gross. I, 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 he just does uh, gym mixes for Attack on Titan. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. He's so awesome. Evan, I know you're not going to watch this video, but please, please add, please make one more gym mix. My birthday is August 18th. Drop it out for me. I don't, I don't care. Please, I just want one more. Come out of retirement just for this. Please. I, I want one for the finale. So this is where this is. And I think that Attack on Titan... I think Attack on Titan deserves to go even before Hunter x Hunter. And that's because now that it's finally finished, we know how it ends, how it wraps up, and that I think it did a beautiful job. The only blight that Attack on Titan really has is Season 4, Part 1. That was just so not Attack on Titan. It was such a dramatic shift out of nowhere with a an opening that felt super phoned in and the acting felt phoned in, which is understandable because it was in the middle of COVID uh, while, while that show was going on. It just has a little disclaimer that says, this was all recorded at home, you know, sorry for inconsistencies. It's mostly inconsistencies with with the audio recordings, but I don't think it's better than Death Note. But it is more rewatchable than Death Note. Man, it's so hard to say. Attack on Titan... Attack on Titan elicited the same response as Assassination Classroom, where the ending was just so phenomenal. I... I think, though, I might have to put Attack on Titan right above Assassination Classroom. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do it. You know what? I'm gonna have to do it. I know I know now that my opening, my first two are the most, or my first three, two of the three are the most basic choices ever. But because of how close it is to me of, on emotional level, on just, you know, everything I talked about, for me specifically, I have to put it at number three. I think that it is better than Death Note just because it is more rewatchable. And I've just seen it more times. I love it so much. Assassination Classroom is just so good, though. But I, I think I have to give it to Attack on Titan. That might be my number three, which is, you know, I'm afraid of the backlash, but but we'll we'll see what happens. I, I love that show so much. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend. By the way, you can take your, your ears out, your fingers out of your ears now. Uh, somebody, somebody in the comments, can you just like, can you check up on them? Are they okay? It's been like 10 minutes that they've just been sitting there watching me do this. Like you gotta go crazy after a while just doing that. But uh, it, let me know if they're okay. If they are, you know, just, it just, just, leave a comment that just says they're okay or something like that like i that's that's the only way i'm gonna know but anyway this was this was my review and my my gushing grannies over attack on titan it just means so much to me specifically and i i just really loved it and the finale did not disappoint i have not watched anybody's review of attack on titan uh, the final season because of how long it has been uh, the final part and I'm interested to see see what they have to say but I had to let you know about this as soon as possible before I forgot let me know what your thoughts were uh, let me know if I'm way out of line with ranking it up here I just really think it was it was really just a slice of something special for me but I feel like there it deserves an s tier it keeps it keeps asking for it and i'm gonna give it one and yeah so thank you all so much for watching and i i am just on a roll of wanting to 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 gush over this show so i'm, I'm gonna cut myself off here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video which is gonna be on the copic copox channel second channel